Hey, 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 Aries, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, July 9th to the 10th. Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Uh, please don't forget to comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, info to my Etsy shop can be found in the description box below. I'm going to get a channeled message for you, Aries, in just one moment. I'm going to grab a couple of cards first. Ooh. Not just like flipped over. Okay. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Six of Cups. Temperance. The Hanged Man. And the Ten of Swords. All right, let's see what Spirit has for you today. Release. Release your worries, Spirit's saying. Release your fears. And let go. I'm feeling like this, ugh, like this ten of wands on the, like you're carrying around this burden, Aries, when it's not your burden to carry. Okay, they're saying let it go, and this is so the time to let it go with this lunar eclipse that just happened. Okay, we'll be feeling that for the next six months, so this is the perfect time to let go. You're gonna see, you, you, okay, they just said you're gonna feel so free when you do this. You're going to feel free. You're going to feel light. You're going to feel happier. And manifestation, positive manifestations are going to begin to happen soon after that. Like things that if you've been waiting on something, I'm feeling that it's going to come quick. You know, it's like, wow, this take it forever. And it's going to, it's like things are going to show up right after you let go <laughs> they just said like instant manifestation okay so let's see <sighs> okay you're you're healing right there is a need to embrace change from this healing, right? Because the Ten of Swords is about being betrayed, backstabbed, lied to. But it's talking about endings, right? There's a need to let this go. What I'm feeling is this Ten of Swords, you know, is not something that happened or will happen in the future. I'm feeling it already happened. And it could have been from a childhood sweetheart that stabbed you in the back. Or it could be vice versa. Energy goes both ways. But I'm feeling you need to let this go. This has kept you stuck, Aries. And that's not like you. Aries likes to move. You love action. They just said, pour out your heart and soul. And they're showing me a journal. So pour out your heart and soul to, you know, yourself, right? Within the journal. You're gonna, this, this is a great way to let go. Burn the paper if you want to. Or keep it. But have the intent to let go. The intention must be there. Yeah, um, Libra energy with the Justice card. The Ten of Swords is something ending. 
Now, it could be for some of you, if you have court, if there's a divorce going on, anything involving court, something could be ending now. Well, it could have something to do with the child if it is court. And there's healing and letting go needed here before this to let this situation go. But if this is involving, and I'm feeling for some of you, it's involving a love situation. And this all has to do with karma. Somebody's getting their karma, karmic justice. So if this person betrayed you, you're going to hear about them getting their karma. But this is also talking about you needing to listen to your intuition and balance yourself out, body, mind, and spirits. Okay, 11 is a master number. It's very powerful. So once you let this go, your connection is going to be that much stronger to the divine, to your um, third eye. Okay, and they said your heart too. I mean, that is truly the gateway, which is interesting. You know, people are always talking about the third eye here. Um, when the connection, for me anyway, well, it's not that I don't see things there, but it's, it's through the heart where I connect. It's like the gateway to it, to it all. Okay, so let's see the Six of Cups. Magician. Uh, card of Gemini. This could have been a Gemini for you. But it's like, uh, I just want to cry, Aries. It's, I feel like you thought you manifested, like, your dream. Right? And they sort of, I don't know if they tricked you somehow. Whoops. Damn it. Yeah. You needed strength to get through this. So whatever they did, it's like they, you know, it was an illusion. That's what I'm hearing. So what you thought was, wasn't. It was an illusion. And I feel that you know that now. And you're stronger for it, Aries. Tell me about temperance. Okay. So a lot of you have been focusing on work and something that you're passionate about to get through this, and that's fine. I don't feel that you're ignoring it, so that's good. You just, you can't pay attention to it 24-7, right? So it's like, you know, you know, especially you, Aries, you're ruled by Mars. So you know you've got to let energy out because if you don't let it out, right, whether it's through exercise or, you know, anything really, exercise, sex, which is exercise, um, uh, you know, d anything that releases the energy, then it comes out in unhealthy ways, right? So you're figuring this out, Aries. You're figuring this out. Tell me about the hangman. There's that ten of wands I was feeling, right? And the eight of swords. Yeah, it's time to set yourself free from the prison of your own making. It's, it's time to take yourself down from the, the tree here. Okay? It's time. Yep. Anything in love coming to Aries when this is let go of? Because I'm really feeling manifestation is strong. So. <laughs> okay, you get the devil card. Well, you're going to have some temptations come along. It could be somebody that you're very extremely sexually attracted to. Okay? It's a very highly sexually. It's. It's. It's a sexually charged card, right? It could be a Capricorn. could be as simple as that. But we're going to get some clarification on this. Who is this? Ooh, somebody you've been waiting for. Not. I don't think it's like a specific person. I feel it's like um, an idea. 
a feeling, a it could be somebody at a distance that's very tempting for you. I want to find out more. Could be a Taurus or a Libra, but they are, wow, okay. So I don't feel this relationship will be toxic. I feel that there is going to be a strong ass sexual connection with you guys. This will start off at a distance. <laughs> so how do they feel about you? Oh my God. There you are. You are going to find your empress or your emperor. Let this go though. You need to let this go, Aries. Because it's not going to come to you unless, until, until. And this will be, um, this is a freaking power couple, first of all. And add this to it. Like, I mean, only the emperor and the empress would really know how to keep this under control. Because this, this can get out of control, but it's very fun in the bedroom, right? It's very passionate and hot in the bedroom. But it, you, you got to be careful of that codependency of that clinginess of that and I think the emperor and the empress know this so they know how to balance this all wow so you got something very very <laughs> nice happening to you Aries so let's get some um, advice for Aries keep wishing I just okay they're giving me the song wish upon a star is that a 1970s song? I love that song. And Wish Upon a Star. I forget who sings it. Because they've given that song to me before. But this is talking about healing, right? Heal and your wishes will come true. All right? What's already written for you, what's already there is going to come to you quickly. It's a card of Aquarius as well. Page of Swords. Do that inner work. Do that inner digging, inner research, right? Be your own spy, so to speak. Spy on yourself. Dig deep to heal, right? Because you don't want to. You don't want to meet this empress or this emperor when you're when you're not healed, and you don't want to bring baggage in, right? You want to be able to let this shit go and just start clean with a clean slate. Bottom of the deck. Yep. Clarity and truth. It's a coming, Aries. I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions, Aries. The info is in the description box below. Don't forget to comment. Let me know if this resonates with you and like, share, and subscribe. You have a good one, Aries, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.